Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to use DigiWords to create a word cloud. DigiWord is one of the many tools offered by La Digital, a collection of free open source resources for education. So first of all, you will go to ladigital.dev where you will find the many free tools for education. The one we're going to use today is called DigiWord. It's the last one right here to create a word cloud. So once you find it, you click on use. So you want to create a word cloud. You can name the word cloud. Settle Red Writing Hood. You have a secret question you can add if you ever want to go back to your word cloud. So I'll write my answer here. There you go. My favorite word. So basically what I want to do now is add different words um, and give them importance with the number of time or the size I want this word to, to have according to the story I've just heard or read. So for Little Red Riding Hood, I think the wolf is very important. So I will write, I'll only write it once, but it will be 10 inside. Then I'll add Little Red Riding Hood. It's the name of the character. Maybe I'll write girl easier. And she's also very important. I can decide to change the color myself right here. I'll put the little red riding hood red. Or later I can come and choose one of the palette that they have. Girl, wolf, grandmother. My grandmother is also important, but she'll have a five in importance. I have a basket that my mother gave me, which will be three. I am going in the forest, which will be two. I, what else? I think I have butter in my basket. Another two. I know there's also a hunter at some point, which without me three. The wolf is just using a disguise. I'll put two. Let's I have enough. So once all my words are written, I'll click on view. And all my word cloud will appear here. I can come and change the font and the direction of my word like this. And I think there you go. That's better. Okay. So you can see the girl, the wolf, they're the biggest. I can come and uh, change them again. So I think I'm happy with this design. So I would be ready to send it to my teacher. So I can do it different ways. I can share the link that is here. I can copy the link and send it to my teacher. Or I can export the image. It will be exported as an image. And I can send it to my teacher. Uh, on Teams, on Classroom. Uh, however, my teacher want me to share my image with her. So I hope this was useful.